Again tonight with the murder of a 14 year old, the shooter and another person were caught clearly on surveillance camera tonight. Police tell us the accused gunman is also a teenager. And today the district declared a public emergency in response to a rise in violence and crime among children. Thanks for joining us. Everyone. I thought they already I'm did that. I'm Jim Adley and Instagram live broadcast celebrating that boy's murder helped lead police to the suspect. Court documents say he was wearing the same clothes as the person seen in that picture. News 4's Jackie Benson has been on this case, which embodies the crisis that D.C. leaders are trying to curb. Surveillance camera images show the bone chilling scene outside the Crown gas station at 14th and Euclid Streets Northwest about 11 <clears throat> p.m. November 3rd. A teenager in a ski mask, a gun in his hand, starts firing from near the doorway. He keeps shooting toward three people on scooters in the parking lot. 14 year old Nico Estep did not survive his injuries. 12 rounds. While a man in a black jacket with a hood up and a woman with red braids and a white parka who'd followed the gunman as he rode a scooter onto the parking lot stood by and did nothing to intervene, according to court documents. What? What do you mean stood by? And did what, the fuck they do? <laughs> yeah, what they what they wanted him to do? Like, hey, don't shoot! Stop! Put your gun down! And he just turns and shoots at you. Like right. the reflex of a sun shooter <laughs> would just be to turn and shoot at you. Like literally. That's an odd thing to say, man. And this kid, look, you can look in his eyes and tell he was, you know what I'm saying? He was with the yeah, He was active. Yeah, he was the shifts. Even how he the guns. While a man in a black jacket with a hood up and a woman with red braids and a white parka who'd followed the gunman as he rode a scooter onto the parking lot stood by and did nothing to intervene, according to court documents. Other images show what appears to be the same woman wheeling the gunman's scooter back to a nearby apartment building. It was later determined to be the home address of 17-year-old Lorenzo Thompson, now charged in the murder. Court documents say an officer who'd arrested the teenager for robbery before told detectives the man in the gas station video looked like Thompson. The documents went on to say Officer Whitfield looked at the still shot of the female with red braids for approximately 15 to 20 seconds before he stated that it looked like Lorenzo Thompson's mother. So this dude murdered somebody in front of his mom. Wow. Salute. God damn. <laughs> his mom his mom's probably his mom probably knew he was active though. Right. Hey, oh, put definitely. that in your smoke it. Now, Take it, it out in like been, 15 years. It it could have been the, the ops rolled up while he was with his mom. You know yeah. what I'm saying? He was in protection mode. True, true, true. But it like he was these, on the offensive though. Well, I, I don't know. Let me let me hold on. 11.30 p.m. November 3rd, a teenager in a ski mask, a gun in his hand, starts firing from near the doorway. He keeps shooting toward three people on scooters in the parking. Yeah, so he's, shoot he's shooting. He's right here. He's shooting at these three people on scooters. So it was on site. Yeah. And this is his mom right here. Mm. His, his mom's right here. He's right here. And the people he's shooting at on the scooters are right here. So it was probably just on site. Yeah. Yo, like you a real aside. one. Yeah, jokes aside, I and I'm really I'm really asking, well, where do you think this motherfucker's dad is at? In jail, in prison, or dead. Probably dead. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, who knows? Are you suggesting are you suggesting that if his father was around, he would have never done this? <laughs> I think I think it's true. Perhaps like, might not have been on site. If his dad was around, he'd probably be worse. He'd probably be more crazy. Yeah, yeah. No. his dad wouldn't be around. Even if his dad was alive or not in jail, he, he wouldn't be around. But but say his dad was involved, right? He'd probably be more fucked up. Who knows? Why would you, say, would would you say more? If his dad was uh, in the street, well, I mean, for what, sure. if, what if his dad is a piece of shit dude who's a, a drunk who beats him and probably who knows, right? He probably if his father's him. active, if his father's active in the streets too. So this kid's seventeen. His dad could be anywhere from thirty-two 
to like 40, right? Yeah. So this kid. Yeah, my son's kid, seven. You, you got a 17 year old son? Yeah, my oldest. Yeah, he's 17. Okay. Yeah, my son's 16. So I'm 43. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm 39. Yeah. So this this kid, this kid, and, and listen, the I'm not even tripping off the mom. I'm not even trying to go manosphere on the mom, but it's like her reaction, like she's just sitting there like twiddling with the bag while her son is like dumping at blown me. away. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Well, wait, wait. Her son is the shooter or the one who got yeah, shot. Yeah, her son is the son shooter. shooter. Oh, her son's a shooter. Oh. Damn, that's crazy. He, yeah, it is fucking crazy. He put that gun on E on empty. <laughs> in either case, her reaction should be different. Yeah. Whether it was the shooter or the victim. Yeah, she should have been distraught, but she was she didn't say distraught. Nah, but I mean I right, I'm I'm gonna leave mom's alone. We can't really Not- see her to be fair. She's pretty obstructed. I mean she took his bike back home. And- right. Yeah, she part like she's an accessory to shit at this point. Like, like I don't even know how my mom would react if I did some shit like that in front. I'm pretty sure she would like be distraught. Like, what the fuck is going on? She'd have you know a heart attack, I mean? man. If I if I see my pulled out a gun and started dumping on somebody in front of my mom, she'd be yeah. screaming and like no bullshit. And it was some shit. Yeah. Like, <laughs> my baby's going to jail. Nah, like it's gunfire going on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Damn. Like this shooting happening. Yo, That's not yo, normal. This, like the most. Yo, this duck. footage. This actual footage has to be bonkers, though. Like the actual oh, security yeah. camera. That no bullshit. Be bonkers. Yeah, he. It was on site, though. It was like, yeah. yo. They hey, he hit. Down. He hit his target. Yeah. yeah, no, no gas valves. It didn't explode the whole fucking gas station. That's I give him that. Guy. He didn't hit this guy in this car. Yeah, a clean, a clean one. Yo, I, I want. Yeah. I wonder what's his rap name, man. You know, I, w- I wonder how good you know what's his rap just rap songs. You know, he's uh, rap his name is a uh, Fourteenth Street Glizzy. <laughs> no, he's realer than that. He doesn't rap about it. Yeah, that's, uh, that's the for sure, man. This is the trenches too, man. This is this yeah. is the weird trench because it's like literally it shouldn't be the trenches. Not at all. <laughs> but wow. it is the what trenches. This is this is notorious. Like this is Clifton Terrace, Fairmont, um uh what's that? CHV, all this stuff, Gerard. Yeah, yeah um, Gerard Street, yeah. One seven, all, all this stuff is I I I'll do a video on them one day, maybe even tomorrow. They got a um, they got a video. A guy did the history of that neighborhood. Um, a uh, uh, very violent area, very violent area, but it's not like, it's not like project in, like um, low income. You know they have projects up there. It's like it's weird, man. It's hard to explain, but yeah. How far is U Street for ain't? You street like what? Right four down, yeah, yeah. it's like <laughs> literally right down the block. Adam Morgan is like not too far. Yeah, um, All right, but you know how yeah. they always say, "Where are the parents?" Well, she's right here. The exactly. Shit. To be the home address of 17-year-old Lorenzo Thompson, now charged in the murder. Court documents say an officer who'd arrested the teenager for robbery before told detectives the man in the gas station video looked like Thompson. The documents went on to say Officer Whitfield looked at the still shot of the female with red braids for approximately 15 to 20 seconds before he stated that it looked like Lorenzo Thompson's mother. The woman is not named as a suspect in the charging documents presented in Thompson's case, and News 4 is not naming her. We need to figure out how do we help parents and hold parents accountable. I know you know him, right? Uh, Nah, nah. What program is he with? Piece of Holics. That's a piece of Holics. Oh, I heard a piece of Holics. Service, not... actually. Yeah, he's a uh, Ron Bolton. Figure out how do we help parents and hold parents accountable? How do we do prevention 
to, to make it cool not to be a fool again, because right now it's cool to rob somebody. It's cool to shoot somebody. Additional documents presented yeah, in the case claim honest. Thompson appeared in an Instagram Live three days after cool. the murder, appearing to brag about the crime while wearing the same moose knuckle jacket and Jordan retro sneakers. Oh, hold on. He was, he was in, on Instagram bragging about it. Thompson appeared in an Instagram Live three days after the murder, appearing to brag about the crime while wearing the same moose knuckle jacket and Jordan retro sneakers seen in the gas station video. Probably. Court documents say a search of Thompson's bedroom uncovered an ammunition magazine of the same caliber as the gun used to kill the victim. In Northwest, Jackie Benson, News 4. Right now, 17-year-old Lorenzo Thompson is the only person charged in this murder. In a statement tonight to News 4, D.C. police tell us detectives continue to investigate this case and additional charges would come from the U.S. Attorney's Office. I don't see any way you charge the mom. I'm sorry. Um, I, 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 don't, I don't charge the mom. Well, maybe in the footage, maybe she was like cheering him on. It, do, it doesn't matter, man. Like, look. She, Did she let him she go home with her? Well, well, she yeah, she, she, she charged her with accessory after the fact because she it, did. Yeah. Maybe she said, shoot that sun word. Nah, not this time. And she didn't turn him in either, though. Followed the gun. So there's two people with him. This could be a little brother, and this could be mom. And as he rode a scooter onto the parking lot, stood by and did nothing to intervene, according to court documents. Other images show what appears to be the same woman wheeling the gunman's scooter back to a nearby apartment building. It was later determined to be the home address of 17-year-old Lorenzo Thompson. Now, I mean, I can't, I can't, listen, man, I just can't charge the mom with anything, man, because she's walking to a gas station with, like, let's say both of her sons. Obviously, the guys in the on the scooters, they had to have said something or been following them for him to just about face and start dumping on them. Well, maybe she could get in trouble for letting her kid have a gun. I don't know. Minor. No, nah, she's pretty much getting in trouble for not turning them in because she watched him do a crime. Yeah, that part. It's that part for me. Yeah, me too. But if she calls the police, they might come and kill her. Her baby. Um, uh, you mean him? Kill her baby? What's the, Either what's, the, what's the social... I mean, I don't think anybody in that community expects anybody to cooperate with police. I think... I, think, I, I don't know. I don't know if the prosecutor in D.C., we know the prosecutor in DC is not gonna prosecute it, but if I was yeah. the prosecutor, I wouldn't I wouldn't charge him with anything here because you're crazy. This is such a violent area, right? My boy got killed here um a few years ago, and he was a good kid. He was kind of like a get with he hung around the, he he like like he he'll he'll smoke weed with somebody and then go around their neighborhood and hang over there, but he he was kind of like a, a um you know a, a hood hopper or whatever you want to call it get with or yeah. whatever, but he he she started hanging up here, and they whacked him out, man. Um, but for that he reason, wasn't, they no, he wasn't he wasn't like he didn't carry guns or nothing like that. He was just we he's like a pothead. and he hung up there for like a few days. They whacked him out. I'm talking about. Right on 14th Street, murdered him. Right, dude just walked up and blammed this shit right on 14th Street. But if it's violent there, that's even more reason to you know charge her. Something's got to give, violent. right? Um, yeah, I mean, I guess so, but it's just. It's very violent over there, man. So to 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 expect that woman to, you know what I'm saying, see that and then turn her son in, I don't know. Turn in her only source I'm of saying, protection. I'm saying, and no mother wants to turn their son in, but that's just the law. It's like they, it's not like she wants to do it, but it's just the law. Not in the son community. 
<laughs> well, she got her son prosecuted. Yeah, so the think, system yeah, right. is not designed. <laughs> I think she'll be all right, though. I think she's going to, you know, she shouldn't worry about it. Yeah, they don't think they're going to charge her anyways. They ain't going to charge her. No. Yeah, it's bizarre, man. 